Hi, this is Rachel Barnett with Gentle Frog. In today's video of QuickBooks Training, I'm going to show you how to add your email account so that you can send invoices out of QuickBooks Enterprise. QuickBooks Enterprise is one of the QuickBooks desktop solutions. Sometimes we create invoices within our QuickBooks file and we want to email it out to our customer or to our client. I want to show you how to do that. You can also follow the same steps to update or change your email address within your QuickBooks Enterprise file. To add the email address, I'm going to go to the upper left hand corner and click on the word edit. I'm going to go to the bottom of my list and click on the word preferences going to open up a list of preferences. On the left hand menu, I'm going to scroll down and select send forms. There's two tabs. There's my preferences and there's company preferences. I want to choose my preferences to add my email address. Company preferences is where you'd go if you wanted to update the template that goes with your invoice. At the bottom of my pop up window, I'm going to click on the word add. I'm going to enter my email ID. My email ID really just means what's the email address I would like to use when sending invoices out of my QuickBooks. My email address is rachel at gentlefrog.com. My email provider is Google Apps for Business, so I'm going to choose Gmail from the drop down list. It says use enhanced security recommended. Well, if it's recommended, I'm going to go ahead and do that. I'm going to click on the blue OK. The first thing it asks me for is to enter a user ID and a password. This user ID and password is for Intuit's website. This user ID and password is different than what you use to log into your enterprise file, and it's different from your email address that you're intending to connect to your QuickBooks. So while my email is the same, my password is not. If you don't know your username and password for this, go ahead and click the reset. So I'm logging into my Intuit account, the account that I would use to log into Intuit or QuickBooks website. And then it says choose an account from gentlefrog.com. So I'm going to choose Rachel at gentlefrog.com. In this case, it says sign in with Google. It says confirm your choices. You've already given QuickBooks access to your email. Is everything good? I'm going to click allow. What you didn't see, because I did this earlier before starting the video, was that I had to type in the password before I got to this point. So when you're doing this with your own QuickBooks file, you will need to type in the password after entering your email address. You just didn't see it because I've already done this and I thought if I made a new file, it would work and it didn't. So what you can see now is the email IDs associated with my QuickBooks is Rachel at Gentle Frog and it's my current default. So when I send an invoice to a client or to a customer, it's going to say that it's from Rachel at GentleFrog.com. If you have multiple email accounts you want to use, you can click add and keep adding them to your list. Maybe you want to have your name, maybe you want to have accounting or accounts receivable at, whatever makes sense for your business. So I made a $1 invoice for the service called test. At the top ribbon, I'm going to click on email. It says, what's your company's email address? I'll go ahead and type that in, gentlefrog.com. And then my sample person will say that they are Rachel Test at gentlefrog.com. And so here you can see it's going to come from Rachel at Gentle Frog. It's going to go to my customer's email address. Earlier we talked about if you have multiple email addresses for your company, you can click this drop down and change the from email address if you'd like. And that's all there is to it. If you get stuck and have questions, or if you have any other ideas for topics for videos, please feel free to send me a message or put it in the comments. If you get stuck and need help, I'm always available to help you. My email address is rachel at gentlefrog.com. My website is gentlefrog.com. Thank you. Mm -hmm.